What's up fellas Exotic here and today we have the Trustmaster TLCM so I'm gonna show you how to open them and do a proper maintenance. So the first things first guys we have to remove these metal heads right here. So we're gonna use the hex key and I'll probably speed up the video because this takes some time. So the first parts are the the most annoying part just getting everything disassembled at the beginning the screws the bolts rest is just easy clean and dust all right so this is the the throttle pedal done all right so this is the brake pedal done Okay, and this is the clutch pedal done. So <clears throat> we're done with the with the hex here. So now we have to turn it over. Uh, we have a lot of screws to remove, guys. <clears throat> so make sure you have somewhere to save them up so you don't lose them. This is cotton buds for later. So we need a screwdriver. I'm gonna use a screwdriver. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If I'm not mistaken. So we gotta remove those. So let's start with the deep ones. One more advice guys, you better have a screwdriver with a magnetic head because these deep ones just might be a bit pain, a pain in the ass to get out. Keep this in mind. All right. Now that was the that was the honestly the hardest and the most annoying part. So the the make sure to leave these screws in. You don't want to remove circuit boards, so make sure to leave this in. So this was the most annoying part. Now let me show you guys before we open <clears throat> this how how you have to open because it's a bit tricky. Now you have to you see this we gotta push this in so we can remove the springs from the brake pedal that's part number one and I'll show you which is the the hardest part so so the hardest part fellas is this thing now you see the the this is the new version of the TLCM so it has this plastic on the sides and this is what actually makes it very hard. Now <clears throat> in order to remove the the plastic cover you see this is making a bit of problems for us, right? So you got to just lift slightly the brake pedal. Then you also So you gotta, so we push this, so we lift it, so this pin can go backwards, you see the pin went backwards, now these slide just underneath the metal big head here where you mount your pedals, and now we can actually slide it slide it up and you that's how you remove the cover you first have to slide it then you you lift you lift a bit of uh, the brake pedal so this pin that's hold the springs can go behind the plastic here that's the that's the trick with the new one and it's yeah it is slightly just tricky to to place it back in 
but this is how your brake pedals uh, look like and you see there's a lot of dust and a lot of hair like god knows from where it comes jesus but it's uh but it's very dusty so what we do that's why we have our compressed air just to dust a bit the first thing before cleaning is dusting guys so this is the proper maintenance what, what i do is I, I like to dust you see so much bullshit fly fly away now when i actually started spraying so we're gonna dust a bit And one very very beginner advice guys don't shake your compressed air bottle because the the liquid gas will um, it will start to shoot liquid what I mean is just look at this you see that and you don't want that liquid to go onto the circuit board so that's that's a major one that's a no-no so be careful with this now one thing that you will see if you look at other reviews is that like my clutch and my throttle springs are literally the the same width uh, and uh, that's because I'm I purchased uh, another clutch spring from Trustmaster because the throttle one I already bent it and it had like it felt like it had no resistance so from some time I'm driving with like literally two clutch springs and I'm very happy guys yeah at the beginning my throttle pedal my right foot was very sore because this is like twice as heavy this was very very heavy for a throttle pedal like I it took me some time to get used to but now as I'm used to that I'm very happy with it you can see it's a bit bent which is weird I don't know why it stays like that um, compared to the clutch spring you can see it's like narrow but this one it it was always bent so but one one thing that I'm happy about is that it holds now one more thing guys so uh here's where the cotton bud uh comes in play this will be very dirty so what you want to do guys is just clean a bit of the mess with the cotton bud on your just clean basically basic cleaning of the pedals guys there will be a lot of mess a lot of dust and gross things here on the on the pedals so make sure you clean this on all the pedals but uh, the grossness will mainly be on the the clutch and the throttle so once we've just cleaned a bit looks good to me guys just just enough looks good to me with dust we clean we've cleaned it uh, one more thing that I like to do is to get um, So we're getting some wet tallows. After I've dusted, and I like to just go through some of the some of the places here, just uh, go to it. Of course, not not go into the circuit boards, but like just basic, very very basic cleaning. All right, so once we're done cleaning the pedals, guys, now we're gonna push this back in right here because it went out. Okay, because sometimes uh, this cable goes out while I'm cleaning and then I'm like, why can't close the the pedals? Because when I try to put the cover 
this here uh, popped out and went loose. So we're gonna push it back in. Everything seems to be fine. Okay, now back to the cover. How do you close them? Same story, fellas, same story. Same annoying story, but we're gonna clear the, the plate a bit from the sides here. Wow, it's easy to uh, before we close them. As you see, it's very easy. Now, everything looks fine. Let's close them. So we're gonna... <clears throat> there we go. We're gonna pop this as well. And there we go. There we go. Very, very easy, fellas. Let's smug these ones here. Get the head. Whoop. There we go. That's our brake pedal ready. Now, back to the old screwing. So, we get the screwdriver. We get the screws. And we start just screwing them back in one by one. I believe we have all the screws so let's check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we got all fourteen all fourteen screws let's uh find the key oh there's the hex key so small i barely see it so we're gonna just put the clutch one first we're gonna put the heads same procedure guys very simple you see maintaining your sim gear ain't too hard it just takes time it's really it takes time i'm super lazy to do it like you think i wanted to grab the pedals and so on it's just like i literally just wait till the last moment when i get mood for this and i just do it so i was like okay i can at least make a video and show you how how you guys can uh maintain your uh, sim stuff and basically how you can open the TLC and pedals to uh, do a proper maintenance it's always good to clean your stuff guys you know things get messy gross and over time if you leave the dust dust becomes uh, some slimy disgusting gross shit so it's always good to clean up before it's it's a bit late and a bit messy That's the clutch done. Pedal ready on the, the brake pedal is ready now. So last not least throttle. Oh my god, guys! I was so much in rush that I grabbed the I grabbed the pedal, but I forgot the the plastic behind it. Jesus, I am so in a hurry to be done with this. You know, it, it's annoying to do. So that's it, guys. How to disassemble and assemble TLCMs, and uh, as well doing some man maintenance with uh, compressed air and uh, cotton buds, wet towels. But pretty straightforward guys, so make sure to keep your sim gear in check always. Uh, for now, stay safe fellas, like and subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments and make sure to jump into our Discord if you need further help or come to have some fun with us and chit chat. Wish you all the best, have a good one.